Welcome to Epic Talks. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. This is where you come to get your B4 shot. Now, you've heard of a B12 shot where you take it to get more energy. Well, B4, from the Bible to the boardroom to the bank account to the bedroom. What does that mean? Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative. Gets the people going. No, but from the Bible, meaning that we are having conversations that helps you grow in your relationship with God. Spiritually, I know that there is a lot of conversation. And where do you go to get a perspective that helps you to not just be religious, but relational? What's the balancing act of it all? So we should be talking about things that matter to us pertaining to the Bible, to the boardroom, meaning our careers. Now there's no, we got, we live in a generation where now it's people job shaming people. Like you like, you got a job, like a job job. Like you go to work and they pay you. Yeah. So how do we advance in our careers? Because that's important to us professionally work life balance to the bank account, meaning those areas of our life that we all want something we're saving for building for from legacy to stocks, to investments, to artificial intelligence, to what I call the bedroom. These are our relationships that matter to us. It's not me peeking into your bedroom being nosy. None of my business. But if you're talking about it, we're talking about it. That's culture, that's rap, that's music, that's church, that's entrepreneurship, epic talks. If you're talking about it, we're talking about it. Well, in today, what I want to dig into for this very first conversation surrounding epic talks is this idea that I am referring to of why isn't my diet working? Now, as you know, I'm not a fitness guru or expert, so we are not talking about a diet as it relates to the food in our mouth. I mean, at the time of this recording, it is the top of the year. So everyone's going on Daniel fast and faith settings, and people are in the gym working out and setting New Year's resolutions and resolutions to lose a few pounds or you know, to tr trim up, get back into an outfit, or to find the perfect way to hide <laughs> what it is we didn't lose, whatever the case may be. I want to take a different approach to it and really talk about um, our intake, right? So I'm not talking about why is my diet not working. I'm saying it's when you're intaking something. Here's the premise of our conversation tonight, of what we're talking about. Uh, in the context of when you are on a steady diet where you're disciplining yourself to do something or to not do something, you're like, hey, I'm trying to get out here and date, but why can't I find someone? That means you've got a steady diet of dating and getting to know people. If you're like, hey, I'm trying to learn more so I can make more money. Hey, I'm trying to save money so I can pay off some debt. That's a diet, family. Any place of your life that you're intentional or restricting yourself or building towards a long-term result. So we've got to ask, why is that diet not working? That constant, consistent thing we're doing that we're not seeing the results from. Like, I wanted to have like this I want to kind of parallel the idea behind how we go on diets and the steady diet. And we probably didn't see it that way, right? We probably didn't see uh, mentally all of us feed ourselves something or deprive ourselves of something. Um, emotionally, we feed ourselves something or deprive ourselves of something. Spiritually, we feed ourselves something or deprive ourselves of something. So at Epic Talks today, is just and here's the amazing part as we navigate this. Some weeks we'll have interviews, some weeks we'll bring on guests, some weeks we'll have group town hall style discussions. I mean, if somebody busts a move on in the government or, you know, whether it's the Grammys or any of those things, anything you're talking about, we're talking about. But today we're just talking about the steady diet of what we intake, right? Like all the things that, that we intake on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, at the time of me having this conversation, I realized that we are also intaking um, a lot of things in culture where you look up and we're, we, we're still seeing aspects of police brutality and we are actually watching the video. I remember where I was when I watched that George Floyd video. I'm talking about I sat there like, and I although I wasn't watching it anymore, I couldn't get it out of my system. Like it was literally in my system. I had digested something that made me sick, like the thought of, I couldn't imagine me putting my knee on someone's neck, holding someone and knowing they're struggling for life and me not like moving at all. To relive that, I realized we had digested something. And if you look back, man, over the last few years, whether it be social media or anything, we started digesting a healthy diet of seeing people get shot, injured, hurt, fights. And if you're not careful, man, you will, you, you will build up an emotional immune system to things that are not normal. Like your body should reject 
foods that make you sick. Your heart and your mind should reject things that should make us all sick, like racism, uh, sexism, classism, all these things that separate us from each other instead of us being able to love each other. Now, the goal of Epitaph is not to preach a sermon to you, but really just to talk about things and give you a perspective on it on a broad, on a broader scope. But if you think back, I, like we gotta ask, we gotta really ask, like fam, I want you to think about this. I want you to think long and hard about what are some of the things you digested and you become immune to that really you should reject. Like I know that's a deep thought. It's like, hold on. I used to, like, I used to really believe that people were honest. Now it's like I've become numb to people saying, telling me something and doing something different. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about built like why isn't it why isn't our diets not working? Why are we why are we at a place now that we are restricting ourselves or pursuing something and not seeing the results of it? That's that's really the focus of our conversation. But it's important to start talking about those diets that we intake on a day-to-day basis. So a couple things we're gonna get into. Um uh, if you write notes, like you know I'm a teacher, so you gotta write notes to really get the most of this. When we start talking about intake and diet and what we what we intake in culture. When you think about what we intake in church, we can't leave that out. You know, sometimes we intake good information, uh, good good input, but sometimes our intake also is religion. So we've got a false belief about God that He hates us based on a, mat, a matter of reasons. Like if we go all the way back years ago, people used to lie and say that you were going to hell for wearing pants. And for anybody who's watching this, who believes like, bro, I still believe that. I'm yet praying for you. <laughs> yeah, I'll pray for you. I don't know how we could be going to hell for wearing pants when pants didn't exist when the scriptures were written. But hey, you know, I would love to hear from you. So I think any of these topics, family, is something that we digested into our system that could be making us sick and not helping us get results in those areas, right? From the Bible to the boardroom to the bedroom to the bank account, right? And any, any area that we're ignorant in is an area we're losing in. So how do we shift that? How we change? How do we change the whole narrative? Change the whole perspective of all of it, and start really seeing the results of our diet. We, all right, let me get off the uh, analogy, the metaphor. How do we start seeing results in our life? And like if we're if we're trying to build something, if we're trying to build a relationship with somebody, friendship with somebody, trying to purchase a home, trying to pursue a career, how do you start looking in the mirror of your soul, not just the mirror at your body, and start seeing results? What is a healthy diet for 2023 that I believe will help us go to the next level? Uh, First thing I will tell you if you write write notes, family, because you do know it, Epic Talks. This is not a podcast, fam. This is kind of like Breakfast Club meets Bible study meets The View. Because, I mean, it's just like it's it's just a one-stop shop for everything that you need, (laughs) right? You're like, what is it? It's... um, Walmart for my soul and my spirit and my body. Like, what do you mean? Walk, like in practice, in practicality, not in customer service. Shout out to Walmart. I love y'all. Uh, send us a check. But I want you to be to have everything. So check me out. Number one thing you ought to write down, family, is eat for your outcome. Eat for your outcome. I'm, I'm just keeping with this diet thing. And when I remember, we're not just talking about your body. We're talking about your soul, your spirit, your mind, your relationships, like all the areas that matter to you. Eat for your outcome. What does that mean, eat for your outcome? If you know that you don't want to live, be in a place where you're frustrated, sad, jealous, mad, you shouldn't be intaking a whole lot of things that make you feel that way. If the outcome, let's just use now the weightlifting thing. If the outcome is to build muscle, well, family, there are certain things you ought to be eating. If the outcome is to lose weight, there are certain things you ought to be eating. So the question we've got to ask is, are we eating the steady diet. Let's just say we're eating entertainment, gossip, spend a lot of time on social media. And I got no problem with social media. Y'all know I'm a marketing guy, but are we eating for our outcome? The actual thing that we want, like fellas, come on, let's just keep it all the way real with me. If you know that you, that you was out there, you was a wild boy in the words of Martin, you was a wild boy. Well, eating for your outcome is a right, clean up your explore page. All right. I want you right now, this ladies, ladies, just just guys, just just us. Just the black men don't cheat private Facebook group. All right. Like let's just pretend it's just us, fellas. I want you right now to to do an explore page audit. Like go to you click, go to Instagram, click explore and tell me what pops up. Now, whatever is on your explore page is what you digest the most of. Like how we feeling? What what what, what, we, what we digesting? And does it match our outcome? Are we digesting a whole lot of 
uh, IG models? Are we digesting a bunch of stuff that if your grandma was sitting over your shoulder, would she say, baby, why that baby ain't got no clothes on? <laughs> Would, would grandma look at your phone while you doing your, your explore page out and say, baby, tell that young lady put put some clothes on, right? And I'm not shaming anybody. I'm just talking about to my fellas real quick. Like, yo, to, to my lady, same thing. Are you, are you digesting a steady diet of something on social media that does not directly relate to the results you want? Now, fellas, if you know you're struggling, you're like, yo, I'm trying to find one. Man, you might want to want to dial back on going window shopping all over Instagram. I mean, Instagram is a great place. You can do some great things or you can get into some trouble. It's like a city. You can go from the high rises to the hood and you're like, what What did I just get myself into, <laughs> right? So for all of us, I'm just big on you're feeding your mind something whenever you are viewing something consistently with your eyes. You're feeding you're feeding your life by your words. So I'm big on why Why does our diet not work? If we are on a diet to restrict ourselves from something or to achieve something, we've got to ask, there's a reason that we're not seeing the results that we want. And chances are we're not eating for our outcome. That we're eating and digesting something in our mind and in our emotions that does not align with our outcome. And I got to pick on the ladies too. Ladies, why you got all those, why you got all the meme memes saved in your phone? Why you got all the breakup memes saved in your phone? You do you what you you preparing just in case this don't work out? I got these are posted on my store. Okay, I'm joking. I'm joking. But my big point in this is making sure that we're eating for our outcome. Now, second thing I believe is if we're writing notes, I want you to write, um, we want to create a balanced diet. A balanced diet. Now, what does that mean? A balanced diet. I'm not saying don't have fun. Don't like, let's just say you're trying to save money to pay off debt. Have fun, enjoy yourself, but also don't overindulge, right? Some people in fitness call it the 80 20 rule 80% diet, 20% cheat yourself. Some do 90 10, some do 7 30. A, a balanced diet is to say, man, don't read all day long, don't work all day long, but also don't skip out and not work at all, right? It's creating a balanced diet to say, yo, some days, I might scroll longer than I should. I might kick it longer than I should. But some days, I'm going to make sure that I'm balanced so every day I'm productive. Because a balanced diet allows me the opportunity to enjoy some things, but also to never get so far to where my life is out of shape. And that's the real folk, That's the real goal, to live a harmonious and healthy life that we are, we are spiritually, mentally, emotionally in shape. That emotionally, I can forgive, I can love, I can give to people without holding grudges like... So, so emotionally, you're healthy. Mentally, you want to be healthy, healthy so where you don't have self-sabotaging thoughts and ideas and belief patterns. So all day long, you're looking and viewing people and thinking that they have something you don't have. That, man, they're blessed. They're lucky. But I'm not blessed. I'm not lucky. No, 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 no. Like, you, you, want, you want a balanced diet that you intake positive things. Like, what are you reading? What are you listening to? Because remember, eat for your outcome. So if, if I'm eating for my outcome was num was the number one thing I told you to do, that means I'm digesting things that directly relates to a result. But I realize, man, life going to happen. I'm a person. I'm not a robot. So the whole balanced diet piece allows you the opportunity to be able to balance the scale of all things to say, yo, I'm not going to get everything perfect. Some days I need a vacation. I need this. But you want to get to a place to where you've, You've done so much for yourself that whenever you move into the balance side of things, you can feel okay. You don't have to feel like you don't have to feel regret and grudge. You don't have to feel regret and grudges and looking back and beating yourself up, right? So the balanced diet of life is what I'm really referring to, man, is that space to where all of us get the opportunity to be able to live in harmony with the things we want and the things we need. Like you got to write that down. To live in harmony with the things I want and the things I need. Like there are certain things that I need, like absolutely have to have. And there are certain things I just want. You want to live in harmony between the two. You don't want to deprive yourself of all of your need, of all of your wants, excuse me. And you also don't want to ignore your needs because it shows up quickly, right? You need water, you need food, but you might want filet mignon. You might want crab legs. You don't want to, you know, your wants, you can get sporadic and be okay. Your needs are those things that you have to have consistently. You want to live in harmony with that, man, where it's like, okay, I've got some things I want. i got some things I need. And then you're working towards something to make sure that you can consistently provide your wants and your needs. Like that's the whole goal, right? That's this whole idea of 
why isn't my diet not working? The whole idea of I'm using the fitness analogy to explain, like, why don't we get results? Because we're not living in harmony, yo. Like sometimes we are out of balance, out of whack. We eat for the wrong for the wrong outcome. We don't live a balanced diet, so we overindulge in one thing versus the other. We like, okay, I, I've been on this diet for seven day for six days. Now I'm on my cheat day. I, I don't ate too much, and now I live in a perpetual state of recovery, right? So that's what we don't want. We don't want to always be running and chasing results that we are supposed to have. We want to make sure that we're moving in, in harmony with wants and needs, and this the part right here, uh, like this next thing I'm going to tell you, man, I think is, is probably one of the most powerful things. And this is especially for those, for my people of faith. Please don't miss this. For my people of faith, please don't miss this. It's something I refer to as spiritual constipation, <laughs> spiritual constipation. Now, even if you don't put the spiritual thing on and you just say uh, constipation in general, I am directly referring to many of us who intake so much. But I think life can only be lived with fulfillment when we give what we have, a piece of what we have to others. So if you think about food, like we're going to just stick with the whole health and food example. If you think about food, right, fam, one of the things that you have to understand about food is that some of the food that you eat immediately begins to be broken down and used for fuel and for energy. Some of it is used as a waste that you're going to release that out of your system. Now, don't miss it. It moved to fat, to, to on down the line, right? So how food is broken down. When we start intaking information, all of us have something of value to give to someone. So if you're working out, and I keep using this, and I hope you're tracking with me. If you're working out emotionally, and you've worked out your ability to be able to love people beyond their flaws, so you are emotionally healthy. You've worked that out inside yourself. You're like, bro, I don't need nobody to tell me that I'm gifted, I'm loved, I love me, right? So you you emotionally have enough for yourself, you're healthy. You have a steady diet of self-love that you feed yourself, kind words, um, no negative self-talk, you have high self-esteem, self-confidence, a proper self-image, you got me. At a certain point in life, as we, have, uh, have, as we digest more of these things that build us up, we don't want it to all live inside of ourselves without giving it to somebody else. That's emotional constipation that you have so much for yourself that you don't give any to anyone else. Like at a certain point, it starts to feel uncomfortable. If mentally, you know, information that can help somebody else change the quality of their life. Did you catch that? If I learn something that can help you change the quality of your life and I just keep learning and keep learning and keep growing and keep growing at a certain point, my knowledge stops if I don't start sharing it with someone else. See, I call this constipation is where I have I have a steady diet of intaking information, things that grows me, but I don't contribute to the people around me. If you, like I'm telling you, most, if you ever be in a place where you're like, man, I'm in a good spot. Financially, I'm good. Emotionally, I'm good. Mentally, I'm good. Eventually, the happiness of pursuing that life you now live stops feeling the same if you don't find somebody to share it with. I recently watched the interview where it was Shannon Sharp. He was with um, Chad Ocho Cinco. And he was talking about how he dedicated his life, his body, his mind to sports. And he said, and anybody around me, I loved my sports so much to where I gave everything to it. And he was like, man, I realized I wasn't a good father. I couldn't be in a relationship. Even people that said they were fine with it, it wasn't a balance. It was always I was giving everything just to football because I wanted to be successful in it. He looked up and he's a Hall of Famer, made great money, uh, I think two Super Bowls. So he accomplished what he wanted in that area. He said he realized now that he didn't have balance. It, it, was, it wasn't a steady diet. The only, only thing he did was learn and study football, but he didn't learn how to love, how to lead his family. And now that he's wealthy on the other side of football, he said, I realize I need somebody to share it with. That's what I refer to as that this thing we're talking about, about being constipated, to have things in you that you can contribute to the betterment of the life of others, but not being willing to share it and to give it. It's all stuck inside of you resources where you can help someone, ideas, wisdom, knowledge, uh, a helping hand, care, concern. You know, if you know you're a good friend, but you've been burned by friends, so you don't share the fact that you you got like you got you got loyalty, commitment, communication. If you got all of that, like man, that's a lost, that's a lost art. The inability to share that with someone now is housed inside of you. And at a certain point, it robs you of happiness and, and the fulfillment of life. So you start wondering, man, I'm good to people. Why is it that I can't be successful in these areas? 
And I believe our contribution is what brings fulfillment and happiness and satisfaction. It's just the way God made each and every one of us. The ability to be able to contribute to others beyond ourselves. So family, I, I, I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. This is... <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I hope I hope you're getting something out of this. And I want to I want to hear from I want to hear from you all. Like holler at me in the comments. Holler at me and let me know if this has been beneficial, right? To be and I cannot wait as we move forward with Epic Talks to make sure like bringing industry experts. I want to find some rappers. I'm I'm, I'm looking, man. I'm gonna find. Yeah, I know this might be a little provocative. I'm gonna find some strippers and have some conversations. Like if you talking about it, we talking about it. I'm trying to find financial experts, stock experts. And not just interviews, family, but conversations. And not just celebrities, you. I want to hear from you of how we can grow in all the areas of our life. But keeping with this conversation, question I would ask you is, what this year are the areas of your life that you say, Marcus, I'm on a diet? Like, I'm restricting myself from this to get this specific result. These are the areas of my life that I, I realize that I'm focused on same way a person goes to the gym every day. Every day, these are the areas that I'm working out. Like, I'm working out my emotions. I'm working out my finances. I'm working out my relationship with God. Like, yo, my spiritual life, I realize, Marcus, I'm kind of out of shape spiritually, man. I, I I don't have no stamina when it comes to prayer. I start praying, and I'll go, I'll start, and then it's like, what was I talking about again? Right? That's spiritual stamina. You see where I'm getting with this? It's developing stamina in the areas that matter most so we can get an outcome and a result. So we can start now standing and looking inside our heart's mirror and enjoying the view to light what we see when we look in our hearts, to light what we hear when we're stuck with our own thoughts, like to really to be to be able to see our life played out in front of other people and, and could look back and say, I treated them well. I did right by them. That's the cup. That's the goal of this conversation, family. I want to stop right there and give you an opportunity to be able to sit with this thought. Sometimes we'll go an hour, sometimes 30 minutes, but I wanted to make sure that you had a valuable conversation surrounding, why is my diet not working? Like, why are the things that I am working hard towards, why am I not seeing results? And it might be the intake family, that you're not eating for the outcome that you want. It might be lack of balanced diet, that you don't have balance in your life, so you're not living in harmony between wants and needs. Or it might be that you're at a place to where you have fed yourself in personal development, you've gone to conferences, you invest in yourself, you've kept yourself up well, but you're not contributing to the life of other people. If it's one of those three areas, let's focus in on what will be the areas of our life this year that we go on a diet, a steady diet that includes those three things, and it will get us results. Until next time, I'll see you for the next Epic Talk. See you next week. Yeah, that's perfect. So that's going to be the main angle. So we got, what, four cameras? Yeah, I want to make sure visually they can see everything. Well, since you're here being nosy, what up? Here's what I want you to do. Make sure you don't miss this Sunday. You can come with your bonnet on. You can pull up with your do-rag on. Online only. The Epic Nation every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pull up this Sunday, 12 p.m. The Epic Nation. What y'all doing? Get out of here. that we get and the information that we get within the Epic Nation is that it can be added to everyday life. It's practical. Uh, it's practical teaching where you can add it to your personal life, your relationship life, your spiritual life, and your financial life. So that is what makes it different. Um, it is a teaching that no one is out here right now teaching on how to balance your life in all three of those core areas so that you can live a life in abundance in all of those areas.